your team is at nine and four right now, uh, Jim. How, how do you look at this team compared to other teams that you've seen in this position before? What do you think? Well, it's really exciting, Rich. I, I, I tell you, it's always tough with the Monday uh, interviews uh, when you have them after games. You never know how the game's going to go. Right. So you always got to have the stiff upper lip and and be ready to to come on. But but I, I tell you, this team has been so impressive. Um, you know, really to go four and one in a playoff atmosphere. Um, over the last five weeks, and it really has been that. I mean, when we beat the Raiders yesterday, they knew what was on the line, as we did um, almost a playoff game um, right there at what was at stake. And, and, uh, you know, both games with with Tennessee were were huge battles, and we split, but beating Green Bay and, and Houston, they knew what was on the line. They had a chance to run the table and jump back into this thing, and, and uh, they fought so gallantly. And, and uh, um, you know, as Maradona said, we had the hand of God come in on, on uh, at the end of the goal line and knock that ball out somehow and uh, um, recover it. You don't win many like that. But uh, it, it's been so exciting. And I, I think there's so many stories that go around it. But um, uh, as far as the the changes in everything. I, I, I think obviously Philip Rivers um, has been that 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 great leader. That that you can't say enough about um, the professional, the competitor, uh, the selfless player that he is. How the guys rally around him, young and old, and um, he's just a special guy. And um, uh, he's meant a lot uh, to us this season. And he's playing hurt right now. There's no doubt about that. Uh, he doesn't like talking about it, but we in the media do. Um, and with his age and injury and already word that he's got a, a coaching gig waiting for him at the uh, prep level uh, in Alabama, do you think this is Phillips' one and only year with the Colts, or are you already talking about maybe looking over the steering wheel at all, Jim? Well, I, I'll, I'll say this. I, I mean, there's no guarantee there's going to be – any surgery in the off season at this point, it's something that um, is being evaluated. Uh, um, it, it's not a definite, um, but, but he's, he's such a tough guy. I, I don't know how you play uh, six days after an ACL surgery on your knee, but uh, Philip did. And, and um, uh, with the toe, everyone knows how tough that is um, for a quarterback uh, driving the ball and that sort of thing. Um, uh, and really, I, 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 I could see us um, lined up the same way. You, you never know for sure, but uh, with, with Phillip and Jacoby uh, as, as a one-two punch, I, you have to give a lot of credit to Jacoby because he's been such a team player and he's come in and made some big plays on, on some special plays uh, in the red zone and short yardage and different things. Um, that, uh, you know, I, I could see us uh, rolling it one more time that direction. It, it just it just depends. I know that Chris Ballard and uh, Frank and I just have to talk at the end of the season, sit down and, and see where we're at there. But um, but we're really excited the way it's, it's going now, and we're really an ascending team. I, I, I don't know if we could have won that Raider game in September. Um, I, I, I think we are still trying to figure out who we were and trying to figure out exactly who is going to settle into certain roles uh, for our football team. But when you have athletes uh, like Quentin Nelson popping out at left tackle and Naheem Himes doing the things he does in between uh, gymnastic flips of the end zone yes. and Kenny Moore, who just um, really uh, just uh, all pro type of play, uh, coming from him. And, and um, so there, there's just a really lot of great news, including young guys like Pittman and, and Taylor at running back. And, and uh, we're just really excited though, the way we're playing right now. And, you know, 2021 20, isn't that far away. So um, 
Uh, we'll see what happens in the offseason. Yeah, you're referring to Kenny Moore's Odell-like interception right in front of Darren Waller. That was a crucial play in the uh, win for the Colts. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 